the first 10, 15 seconds, and then you're like, where's my shield button? I haven't had a need to shield yet. I don't even know which button shields, and then it turns out it's like... Freaking... Spoke, spoken like a Roy me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Listen, there's some characters where shielding is just suboptimal. Shielding is just a mere suggestion. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's the coward's way out. Um, okay, so now we're starting for real. So our first set of days is going to be Charbs No Enemy versus Huey. If I were to guess, I'd say Mega Man is the Huey player, but I could be wrong. Uh, I believe currently Huey is under the enemy. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll catch Falcon it attack. first. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll get this later, but okay. I was about to say, I'm really sort of... I think Huey's playstyle, right off the bat, defensive Falco play. He was earlier hanging back and lasering, now reflecting all these Mega Man projectiles. Kind of is a, just allowing himself to play the exact game that he wants, and it seems to be miserable. Like I've I've gone on record saying that Falco has Falco's tool set is one of the weird like I want to say quote unquote complete ones where he has a tool for almost every situation but we know him for you know thirty second unskippable cutscenes but as we're seeing in this matchup his frame one reflector is a uh, tacked on a lot of damage onto Huey here. Yeah, the thing is, it's a lot of damage, but he's trying to look for that final stock. Oh, the landing hit of forward air kind of saves the skin just a little bit. The weak part of down air, this is looking rough. Great Caught job. Him. Yeah, forced to air dodge in that exact position. And no anime was just patient, waited for it, and punished with the back air. Kind of fell right back into that hope. I, I, th Ooh. I thought the I thought the hard knuckles would have come out a lot sooner. Yeah. Even that sounds right back up. Ooh. I, I like the attempt. I like the attempt. I guess he was. Because here's the thing. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't gonna go out there, then that means he was anticipating the side B. But he didn't try to cover the side B. Mm -hmm. You know. So I feel like in that instance, maybe he should have just gone out there deep to the back air because Falco's stuck in, in the up B animation for a long time. It's one of the weaknesses of his recovery. But Sparkshot going to take the first stock from Jarbs. Huey not quite out of it yet. This, uh, def oh! Was that was that their jump? Oh, I think it was. And no tech. Ooh, yeah, I hate to see it happen. I mean, if you're no anime, you're fine. Okay, but. <laughs> yeah, unless you're the opponent. Yeah. <laughs> or you just really, really hate Mega Man, which, why would you? He's such a cool character. Uh, moving on. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Ooh, this is also one thing that we haven't really seen. Mega Man's up air, fantastic move for juggling people, but Falco's reflector, I believe that would just send it right back down. It absolutely would. And, oh, Mega Man doesn't really have a great get off me tool. Some characters, even though it's mostly unskippable, if the Falco leaves them a hair's breadth, they can take it, but Mega Man doesn't really seem to have it. I'll smash out of shield, not doing it quite yet. The next one probably will. Especially with this much rage on. Uh, I don't know if he's going to get a chance to do it. But a hard knock on. Careful. Okay, that was it. Committed to something you definitely shouldn't there. That was so good grabbing yeah, the metal yeah. blade as it came down because definitely Huey was hoping for that to add extra shield pressure, maybe get a shield poke of some kind. Or footstool a metal blade yeah. out of shield. Those, those combos still exist. They're just rarely seen because this character's rarely appeared at all. And that bear's gonna do it. So yeah. the first game going to Jarbs. Now if you're if you're hewing this situation, what do you think you would do to adjust for Falco's game plan here? So for one oh, okay, uh for one, the beginning of the game felt so cleanly in Jarbs favor. He was just reflecting things, and Huey did not figure out how to get it. I feel like by the end, that was a little bit put together better. For instance, he was crouching the lasers when he felt like, you know, he was just going to laser. Um, and also, you know, he's getting those up smashes out of shield. He was able to break the distance without throwing out hitboxes. That being said, uh... It felt like there was a lot of a commanding presence. It'll have to do... Okay, that was actually such a fantastic side yeah, view right I, there. I caught that the too. Air dodge. Yeah. You can see that there's just... I feel like there's a level of coverage that no anime has that... I think they'll run it back to PS2. I didn't see if they struck, if they struck different stages or not, but... 
I suppose it's not bad. Gives uh, Mega Man space to kind of set up. What I haven't seen a lot of, like, I saw it a couple times uh, last game, but didn't really lead to anything from it. He was not using much of any Leaf Shield. Oh, God! Just the double two frame. That, that was the... <laughs> That was the down tilt two frame that said, listen, listen, I got place to be. I'm just gonna wrap this up. And then he did it again. He's like, what did I just say? Let me just get that handshake from you real quick. Oh. And I'm still going. Oh, man, that up tilt just barely missing. Mega Man's smaller frame helped him dodge it, but. Didn't even complete the combo. Like, Huey fell out of it. And, he, and they took 75 for their troubles. <laughs> they were just like, he's like, oh, thank God I only took 75%. It's fine, it's fine. I win these. He pray, they pray. I like that. Trying to pair to the oh. couldn't find the opening. Oh, I think he wanted to go for a frame trap, but the drift behind him managed to avoid the follow-up. And now, I mean, if he manages to take the stock, which... Yeah, those high up bees are just not getting punished from Huey. I wonder if maybe grabbing the ledge and trying to react. They feel like always... they feel a little lost, if I'm being honest. I don't, yeah. Maybe they're not unfamiliar with Falco's tool set. They might not fight a lot of him. Yeah, but I feel like off stage. That like... was a. Okay, thank God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got, got but... the slash claw. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like that's really what was missing in game one. You asked before the edge guards. They were not happening on Falco. And really, Mega Man should have the ability with all his tools to be able to, you know, cover many, many of Falco's options. Not to say there haven't been attempts, they just haven't panned out so far. Yeah. But in the end, he, like, attempts and loses stage position. Oh, absolutely. It. Which is, man, such a weird risk-reward thing where it's just like, you go out there, not only did you mess up the edge guard, but also now you're the one on stage. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Okay, hey, there you know, we go. Yeah, we were talking about, you were talking about that... I think maybe one of the reasons why he's not using the Leaf Shield so much is because of the reflector. I don't know if reflector actually stops it from working when, like, when it's oh, around it him launched, and right? he's not throwing. I see. You're talking about short range. Right. Yeah, yeah. If it does, then by all means, it, I'll eat crow for that. Oh, <laughs> and Jarvis is about to eat a nasty punish. I saw. Oh, <gasps> oh yeah. However, yeah. Ooh. you were all, you were already dead, man. <laughs> But uh, that's going to be Charms No Anime moving on in the winner's bracket. Looking, it's actually very interesting because, you know, of course we see Falco here in the yeah. New York scene, Tilde. An amazing Falco. Very dynamic. I felt like No Anime was really sort of like that defensive Falco play. And he was mm -hmm. able to play defensively against a character that's normally known for the passivity, that being Mega Man. Yeah, like I said, Falco. Falco's tool set does allow him to play defensively. It's just not, you know, what comes to mind when you think of the character as they appear in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, released 2018 for the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I'm curious if he plays that same way against a character that he can't quite, you know, mm -hmm. reflect the projectiles of. Like, if he's facing off against a rushdown, like, if he ends up going up against Carflow's Roy right. or something, is he still going to try and take that defensive approach?